Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. It's a gorgeous day outside today. We're in spring, so it's time to do a bit of maintenance, not only to our vehicles, but also to our garage door. Uh, if your garage door is squeaky, by the way, I have a full tutorial on my channel on how to prevent squeaking from happening as well. So how to lubricate all those hinges and all that stuff inside. So go check that out. I'll leave the uh, link to that video in the description under this video. But today we're taking care of the exterior. So the painted surfaces, uh, the majority of garage doors these days, uh, especially in North America, USA and Canada, uh, more than 80% of them are either in metals or steel or aluminum. Uh, then the other types are either vinyl, fiberglass, and you get wood doors as well. So today we're focusing on uh, metal doors, so either steel or aluminum, mine is aluminum. So it helps with the, uh, the weight, it's fairly big because it's a, a two-car two garage. And the uh, painted surfaces need to be maintained, right? So we're going to clean the surface, and I'm also going to show you how you can easily protect it. You need a few simple items that are very, very easy and inexpensive to use. A uh, Just a pail, either a bucket or something like that, where you can uh, add your wash solution inside there. We're going to be using a rinseless wash solution today, McKee's 37 and 914. Very gentle, can clean all surfaces, uh, including the painted surfaces and the glass if you have uh, glass panes like I do. You're going to need a wash media. So I'm using a pole. It's called the Microfiber Madness Incredipole uh, because you can extend it. It's an aluminum and it has a microfiber head. So it's very gentle on the finish. Then you're going to need a uh, microfiber drying towel. Uh, ideally, you want to use something that is twisted loop because that's what picks up the most amount of water. Uh, and uh, you're going to be uh, needing some form of protection, right? So two choices today. Uh, the uh, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Flex Wax. So in spray form, uh, up to a year of protection. I easily get nine to 10 months of protection with this. And you also have Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine. So a paint sealant, uh, four to six months of protection. Uh, and then you're gonna need a uh, standard microfiber towel just to apply it for some protection, right? By the way, don't worry guys, I'll leave the links to all of this stuff in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we're gonna first start by cleaning the garage door. You can either use a pH neutral car shampoo if you have that, but that means you're gonna have to rinse it down with a garden hose or pressure washer. Uh, today we're using a rinseless wash, which means when we apply it on the surface, there's no need to rinse. You simply dry and that's it. It's going to lift and encapsulate the dirt and gently clean the surface. Fantastic cleaner. So we're gonna start by mixing the product inside our bucket. So inside here, I have uh, two gallons of water and the uh, mix for the McKee's uh, 37N914 rinseless wash is a one to 256 dilution. So you're gonna need half an ounce for every gallon of water. So for two gallons of water in my bucket, I'm adding a one ounce of the solution. Uh, so you dunk it in there, you swirl it around to mix it up and basically you're good to go. So what I'm using, like I said, to clean the surface is something that you can use to clean uh, taller SUVs or uh, trucks. You can use this to clean RVs and it's perfect to clean garage doors uh, because it's a pole that's out of aluminum, so it's lightweight and you can extend it, shorten it, heighten it to wherever you want. It has a swiveling pivoting head that's made out of microfiber. So this is the Microfiber Madness Incredipole. You're gonna dunk it inside your cleaning solution. And like on a vehicle, we're gonna work from top to bottom. And once we're done cleaning, we're going to simply dry it. And then we're going to apply uh, a protection on it. So I recommend you guys to do this step at least once a year, but ideally twice a year. So before the winter time and also in the springtime to get it clean for the awesome season. So you're going to protect it against the elements, against any road salts if you're near a road, uh, against all the debris, the dirt, all that kind of stuff. It's going to enhance the looks, of course, and it's going to give it UV protection to protect against fading from the sun's damaging UV rays. And and uh, your uh, garage door is going to look a lot better than your neighbor's, right? So we dunk this inside there. If you don't have a uh, bucket or that kind of stuff, you can also put the uh, solution of the McKee's N914, the uh, rinseless wash, inside a spray bottle, spray it on, and then you grab a microfiber towel and you wipe. So we're simply going to apply this. No need for heavy scrubbing. So let the product do the work. Again, we're working from top to bottom here. You can do the glass with this as well. So this should take you all but a few minutes. So I'm working in a gorgeous day today. Ideally, if you wanna work in the daytime, try and pick a day where it's cloudy outside. It's just gonna make things a lot easier. 
or in the shade if you can. I know it's not possible for everyone. So there we go. Now you can dunk this and when you're dunking it back into the wash solution, the good thing about a rinseless wash, the technology releases all the dirt and debris and it falls in the bottom of your bucket. So you're always having some clean water on top. So you just continue from top to bottom. And like I said, you'll be able to do this. And this is a big garage door because it's a two car garage. You're going to be able to do this in just a few minutes, especially if you're not talking or producing a YouTube video, right? All right, there we go. So now we're going to take our microfiber drying towel again in twisted loops. That's the type of weave. That's the most absorbent type of microfiber out there. And you're simply going to wipe the surface. So by towel drying, you're removing all the gunk and you're preparing the surface for the protection. Because once again, what we want to do is protect the surface against fading, against all that damaging. That way you won't have to repaint or respray or replace your garage door, right? And as you can tell, this is effortless. So you're wiping the entire thing down, get it bone dry. There we go. And now we're ready for the protection. So by the way, quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. These are just my tips, my tricks, and the procedures and products that I use to do this. So we'll be applying the uh, Graphene Flex Wax from Turtle Wax. This is an inexpensive product, fantastic if you use it on your vehicle. Uh, it's good for all the exterior surfaces, basically. So glass, paint, wheels, headlights, taillights, plastics, you name it, this protects everything. So it's perfect in this case for the uh, garage door because it's a spray on, wipe off application and you're good to go. So microfiber towel, you use a spray bottle, shake the product well, of course, before use. Spray some a bit on your towel. I can spray the glass if I want. And then you're just wiping the product in. Very, very easy. Once again, just be very thorough, make an even application, and you're gonna get many, many months of protection out of this. And you're gonna see when it rains, you're gonna get some fantastic water beading and water sheeting. And it's also going to make the maintenance the future maintenance washes or cleanings of your garage door a lot easier. So you don't need to use a lot of product. That's the beauty of this. A few sprays. It's not leaving any streaks. Again, I'm lucky at this time of the day right now because I'm working kind of like in the shade. Thanks to the roof of the house, there's just a little bit of sun out there. That's pretty much it. And as you can hopefully tell the camera, all that nice black dark color has been restored and it just looks great. It's gonna feel slick to the touch. Dirt and grime is gonna stick a lot less to it. And there you go, guys. You saw in just a matter of minutes, we were able to clean this. Again, I'll leave links to uh, all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Another quick pro tip, when you're lifting your garage door, so the rubber gasket that's at the bottom of the door that seals the uh, door and the cement, right, to make it airtight, uh, well, clean that too. So you can take that same rinseless solution, grab a microfiber towel, just drag your towel on that remove any gunk or grime and keep that rubber supple and clean that way it won't fade or crack and you won't need to replace it so a little bit of maintenance goes a long way so i showed you how to clean this how to protect this you guys let me know by the way if you have any tips or tricks that you guys like to use on your garage doors drop a comment in the comment section under the video it's always nice to share with the community if there are any garage door experts out there if you also have tips for my audience just go ahead and leave them there I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. That helps support the channel. Uh, and also, yeah, just click the subscribe button. That way you'll subscribe to my channel. Never miss my future videos. And you're at the right spot to learn everything about car detailing, all the tips, tricks, tools, equipment, products, and techniques. And also some cool stuff like taking care of your home. And in this case today, how to clean and protect your garage door. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean. And I'll see you on the next one.